Hi guys, welcome to another edition of the EV Show. My name is Trent Wansley, and today I'm going to walk you through one of our shop vehicles, which is this lovely 1963 Volkswagen Transporter. All right, so a little bit of background history on this vehicle. Uh, we pulled this one out of a field up in Northern California. Uh, just showed up with a flatbed trailer and, and winched the thing on there. Uh, it had, at the time, the e-brake cable fail, and this thing rolled down the hill into a giant oak tree. And when we walk around the front later, you'll see there used to be a giant indentation. And we did some pretty extensive body work to push that back out and get it kind of looking like a normal transporter again. This thing was in pretty similar condition to what it's in right now, uh, which is, as you can see, pretty heavy on the patina. There's some rust down there at the bottom of the doors. It has had a uh, floor pan rein reinstalled on it, re refurbished on it. Um, but for all intents and purposes, this is the same car that came out of that field with a few uh, field mouse living in it and other critters as well. So uh, what we did was we took this vehicle and straight recycled it and rescue this thing and it's back on the road. So we have done a number of mechanical upgrades on this car just to get it up to snuff and uh, make her road worthy again. Uh, if you follow me up around the front, you'll see some of the cool things we've done. This car wasn't originally optioned with Safari windows, but we went ahead and installed these because they allow for some good airflow in the summertime and to be honest, it's, it's just a kick to drive it. You feel like you're riding a motorcycle without a helmet on. Uh, other things that we've done, which are super important for driving at all times and keeping our employees safe, are things like a brake upgrade in front, uh, fresh headlights. We rewired some of the car to be safe, um, and as well as added a nice new poppy Volkswagen symbol. Other stuff that we've got uh, have come just as donations. For instance, this large material roof rack we have comes in handy when we're carrying giant 4x12 sheets of aluminum or 25 foot long pieces of material. It makes it a very functional vehicle for us. With the theme of patina, uh, we enlisted the help from an artist named Tim Leventry. And what he did is he actually stenciled on that Porsche logo that you see to mimic um, a Porsche race support vehicle from the era, from the 60s, early 60s. Uh, something else to see, we added some Fuchs style wheels to this vehicle, they're alloys and some modern tires, also a safety upgrade. Let's go through some of the other mechanical upgrades we've done. Cool, so I'm gonna walk you through some of our interior features here, which are quite scant. On the left side here, we have our state of charge meter, which tells you pretty much everything you need to know about the high voltage battery pack, such as your state of charge, your amp hour capacity, and your voltage. Center, we have our original mechanical speedometer and odometer here, which is Volkswagen. Uh, this white knob here is your ignition. This black knob is your forward reverse. And here's your display for the Hyper 9 system. And that gives you other things you need to know, like uh, another speed readout, your RPM, and any warning codes that you may have. You'll notice that this car still has three pedals in it. That's because it's still utilizing the manual transmission that it came with. However, what's special about this transmission is that we worked with VW Paradise to come up with some special ratios to be more efficient with the electric motor. That means there's only two gears. First gear is about good to 55 miles an hour, and second gear will get you all the way up to about 90 if you're willing to go that fast. All right, so we're back here in the cargo area, um, and you'll see we have our battery boxes back here. 
Um, this is definitely a utility vehicle for us. So you'll notice that the top of this thing is a little nicked up from having whether transmissions or motors or material bouncing off the top of it. In these battery boxes, we have 20 Tesla Smart modules, which is equivalent to about 60 kilowatt hour worth of energy. These Tesla Smart modules use 18650s, which is the same cell form factor as you find in the Model S. These Tesla Smart modules actually came from dismantled smart cars, which were fleet vehicles. So these are recycled batteries in these cars that still have up to 95% of their capacity. So they're still really good batteries that we're repurposing for a vehicle that's on the road today. Yeah. Now we're back into the good stuff. In the rear of this transporter, we have one of the very first Hyper 9 systems from NetGain. Uh, this was kind of a beta test, and as you can see here, this thing's got plenty of road dust on it because we've put about 20,000 miles on this vehicle. Just to walk you through some of the components, here we have our DC-DC converter, which takes your high voltage pack and takes it down to 12 volt power, so you always have your 12 volt supply charging. These fans over here run a coolant system which pumps coolant through this chill plate underneath the controller to keep it cool. You also have at the rear two high voltage chargers for charging the high voltage battery pack and these are safe to use on a J1772 public charge station. I'm getting, really I'm getting, quite, I'm getting quite distracted. All right. Also back here you'll see we have our 12 volt battery which we need to run things like the lights, the horn and the wipers. Uh, these cars maintain a 12 volt battery just for those systems that the high voltage won't do. Okay, one of the final things we have is our charge port, which uh, lives in the old gas fill area. Uh, this is a J1772 charge port, which means you can charge at any Blink station, any Go EV station, uh, really any public charge station that's not a Tesla charge point. So, being that this is a 60 kilowatt hour bus, the charge time on level 2 is about 10 hours. Um, depending upon how you drive it, you can get anywhere from 180 to 220 mile range. Okay, so that's a brief overview of our shop van. Uh, since it's a gorgeous day out here, let's go for a cruise down the coast. One of the advantages that you have converting these things to electric is that now you have this instantaneous power. The bus is no longer something that can barely get out of its own way. You can keep up with traffic and at the instant you put your foot down, you're up and going. The other advantage that we have is that we're clean, reliably, and efficiently commuting from A to B. I mean, this is really the perfect surf vehicle when you're worried about your footprint on the planet, too. Remember, Chicks dig cool cars. Remember, oil's best for your beard. So we decided to do the quintessential Volkswagen bus thing and we're going on a surf check.